last year I did one or two videos on what is my interpretation of one bag camping on a motorcycle and by and large they seem to be received quite well although embarrassingly last year I found myself to be quite busy and I didn't get as much camping done as I would have liked to. Now this is the time of year where I always start to look at the camping gear that I've got and start surfing the net to see if there's any new equipment out there that I might like to add to my kit. Because after all, the biking season's not that far away now. And certainly I've noticed over the last week or so comments on those one bag camping videos have increased quite a lot. Which indicates to me that a lot of other people are like minded and they too are starting to look to see what new equipment's available. Now obviously cooking is a major part of camping, or at least it is for me anyway. And any self-respecting camper or bike camper needs a decent cooking kit. And just like hiking and backpacking and that kind of thing, it's got to be kit that's compact because luggage space on a bike is very limited. Now last October, a company called Wolf Yock sent me through a little cook set that they make. But being October, I sort of put it on a shelf and left it till a more suitable time. And I think now is that suitable time. I'm not entirely sure what a wolf yock is, but in this case it comes in a small brown cardboard box. Now this is a complete cook set that comes in at just under £20, which I think is quite amazing. And it literally does contain everything that you need to get you started, plus one or two things that you probably don't need. For easy storage while you're travelling and while you're not using it, it comes in quite a sturdy net bag. And once you get it out of that net bag, what you basically have at first glance is a small frying pan and a small saucepan with lid. Now they're both made from aluminium with like a non-stick anodized finish. I've come across this sort of finish on this sort of cookware before and I have to say it is very good stuff. And if used carefully it'll certainly last you two or three seasons. But it's when you get inside the big saucepan, that's where the surprise comes in and you realise just what good value for money this is. Now all inclusive, first of all you get a small aluminium flashlight, something that's always handy when you're camping. It appears to be pretty good quality, I don't think it's waterproof but it does come complete with a lanyard. You also get a small piece of loofah for cleaning your pans and one of those corded wood saws. Now this isn't something I would normally use, but I know that some people do like them and would probably find a use for them. And I have to say, looking at it, it does seem pretty good quality. And of course a cook set wouldn't be complete without some sort of burner. In this case, it's a small self-igniting gas stove, which is the type that screws onto the gas canister, probably one of the most common types of gas canister that there are available. And it's made almost entirely from stainless steel, brass, and a good quality anodized aluminium. Now it is a generic design, but I've seen these for sale for around about £12 alone. So the fact that it's included with the kit, I think is really good. It comes in its own little plastic box so that it folds up and packs away nice and neatly. Next up we have two plastic cups or soup bowls or rice bowls, whatever you want to call them. Personally, I can't see that I would have a use for these, but again, different people have different requirements. They are quite reasonable quality and I'm sure that some people would find them useful. You also have a little plastic ladle which sort of folds up. Again, probably not something I personally would use, but some would. Now this is handy. This is a little bamboo spatula and I think it is absolutely wonderful. It's not only really handy for keeping your food on the move while you're cooking, but it's also shaped like a spoon, so you can actually use it to eat with as well. Now, as I've said, the pans themselves are like a hard anodized aluminium. It's got a sort of a non-stick coating on it, and I've used these before. It is durable stuff. And both pans come with a fold-away handle. Now the handles do have like a plastic grip sheath on them, which when I initially saw it thought were going to be a problem because I've had this sort of thing in the past and the handles have melted. But as you will see later on, I did actually do some cooking with these pans and I didn't find it to be a problem at all. Now this little stove isn't bad at all. 
the quality isn't the best in the well but it's not the worst either i would say it's about middle of the range it's made from materials that make it fit for outdoor use you're not going to have to worry about anything corroding over time and once you get it out of its little plastic case it takes seconds just to unfold it and get it ready for use it simply screws onto the top of one of your standard gas canisters and once you've got it in place it's ready to go it's got a little wire handle that operates the valve from a good hot solid flame right down to a very low simmer and it's one of the blowtorch type stoves as i said before it has a little piezo igniter and i found that it lit first time every time without a problem and as i said earlier on i've seen these little stoves at a price which is more than half of this complete set in the past now I know that there's a lot of people thinking that for under £20 there's no way this cook set can be any good because that's what I thought when it was first offered to me for a review. So I decided to put it through its paces with one of my favourite camping recipes which is something I got a few years ago from a YouTube channel which I can't remember which one it was now and that's a hearty helping of spam fried rice and to make this you will need one tin of delicious nutritious spam one packet of microwave rice any flavor and any make will do and some piri piri seasoning the first thing you need to do is get the spam out of the can and dice it up into small cubes put it into your frying pan turn on the stove and gently fry it until it's golden brown and while you're doing that add some of the piri piri seasoning to it when your spam's browned off open your packet of rice not forgetting to break it up inside the packet first and then pour the rice into your larger saucepan on a low heat start cooking it to warm it up and add your fried spam and some more piri piri seasoning keep moving it around while it warms up so that it doesn't burn and stick to the pan now this is a really economical quick and easy way to make an evening meal or personally i like it for my breakfast and for those of you that are more health conscious it's either best avoided or you can have some vegetables with it to balance it out now when I was frying the spam I did actually burn some of it to the bottom of the frying pan but I'm happy to say that it actually washed off very easily with some hot water and just a dishwashing brush. This cook set might not be the more discerning camper's first choice but for someone who's looking at bike camping and wants to dip the toes without spending a fortune or for somebody who's more experienced but that hasn't done it for a while and have mislaid all the gear this cook set is the perfect choice to get you started i've no doubt that if you look after it it will last at least two or three seasons until you're ready to move on to something of a higher quality and for me just as a backup in case anything happens to your regular gear for the price this is worth buying in now i'll leave a link for this cook set through amazon I have actually had a look around and I can't find it any cheaper anywhere else. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've found it useful. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing yet, but I will be back on Friday. So until then, ride carefully and I'll see you soon.